How how were y'all able to get started into the music and then collaborate with so many big names? Man, the grind, dude. Just being out there, like me for production, it would be me, Mike, Will. It would be this other uh, other producer. We'd be at Zach's. Gucci would pull up in his. You know, he'd have the the Bart Simpson chain and mm-hmm. some yeah, car, I remember that. some red yeah. old school car, and we would be Big like, man, Gucci. listen to our beats, listen to our beats, and uh, you know, we would get in there like that. Um, shot it low. I mean, I got a lot of respect. Actually, I really got a lot of respect when I did label it gutter for Alley Boy. Mm. You know, because they were running the city. You know what I'm saying? And um, Big Bang Black and all them and Duct Tape and T. That's how I got my respect from other people because they looked up to them and. You know, they knew them, and then and Maceo and Quick Flip, I was part of that, too. You remember Hosta Down and all that? Bro, I'm not from Atlanta, so you oh, teaching not? me? No, yeah, I'm from yeah, Boston. Well, you you get it. Atlanta down. Atlanta classics. <laughs> mm. Like, the Hosta Down, Nextel Chirp. Like, you know, we was on tour with Jeezy. You know, it was, it was crazy. So, but I got my respect like that, and then shot it low. Definitely. R.I.P. to my brother. Is that when it, like, kind of exploded, pause, yeah, for lack of better words? Sure. And people, like, everybody knew who you were? That's how probably Doug know who I am, for real. Or mm. probably through Maceo as well, the Maceo days as well. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. What's pop? You know what time it is? It's your boy J Hill, Mr. J Hill Podcast. We're in the building. Cooley Bros is here. What's yes, up? Sir. What's up? What's going on? Sanders. Sanders. G Fresh. My yeah, guys sure. is here. I appreciate y'all for pulling up. So I was complimenting you on the swag. I was complimenting both of y'all on the swag, right? Yeah. But uh, Fresh, if I can call you Fresh, if you don't mind. For sure. For sure. Your brand. I didn't know the name of it, right? But I wore it because it looked good. Right, thank you. A lot of times, even when I was like wanted to start merch, right? When I wanted to start merchandise, I wanted something that people can wear and not wear because of they were supporting me. Right. How important was it for you to have something that just looked good outside of who you were? Man, uh, quality over quantity. Mm. You feel me? It's very important because that's your name. You know what I'm saying? If you bring out trash, then people are going to, you know... It's just, that's just what it is. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So quality over quantity always. And you don't even like, do you do collabs with people? I feel like people just buy it. I don't know. I'm just curious. I'm going to start doing collabs with people. I've been trying to get into that. I'm brand new to this. I've been. Wait, I what? Think I've, yeah, I've been doing it since August. So how did you get your clothes in this? Like it was in a store, like a whole <laughs> brick and mortar. Well, it's because, uh, you Seven know. 7Q fixes his, his court. I got, um, I got connects, man. <laughs> It's people I feel like blessed people from God. I'm man. about to say people was having a clothing line and they that's that's their goal is to have it in the store. Yeah, yeah. Um, Giorgio's shout out to Giorgio's, shout out to Opulus and North Point Mall. Um, shout out to uh, Moda 404. Mm. You know, everybody so, wearing it. Yeah, all the artists. Shout out to everybody. I saw you put that shit on. Yeah, yeah, you put it on. Sick. Yeah. Very nice. I was too. just in Moda 404. I was just talking to my man's about that. Yeah. yeah. Yo, something. Can you turn this? Uh, just hit the. Uh, just turn it. We're gonna we're gonna freestyle. Yeah, yeah, just turn it off, turn it back on. Listen, for y'all that don't know, we having like technical difficulties. But look, mm-hmm. this is perfect time to show y'all if you're trying to get into podcasts and you're trying to get into anything creative, that like you gotta use your ingenuity and you gotta keep going. You might look at me and think I'm like interviewing, or you might look at me and see I'm interviewing like big celebrities and shit, but even it happens with me. And look, we still making it work. So when you ask me all these advice about how to get started with podcasts and then what should you do, I'ma tell you just get started and just go because I'm doing it. I'm, you might look at me as up here and I'm still going through bullshit and we still making it work. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's going to separate you from everybody else. You feel me? Like, we don't make no excuses. We keep you going. I'm pretty sure you guys. True story. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure you guys yeah, can relate yeah. to like not making excuses and keep working. For um, sure. For tell sure. me about your story when you, when you, when you guys first started coming up. Before the clothing line with y'all, because y'all do music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, y'all had a whole song with Thug. Like, y'all ain't no stranger yeah. to this music yeah, game. Yeah, like, definitely. Thug or Migos. Uh, G started in the production. Shouty low, like we go way back. Yeah. How did y'all get yeah. into it? Uh, it's our passion, mm. you know. We followed our passion, and then it'll follow you. You know mm. what I'm saying? But y'all got like features with some of the bigger artists, especially in Atlanta. Well, that translate now to the world, right? Right. Yeah. 
How how were y'all able to get started into the music and then collaborate with so many big names? Man, the grind, dude, just being out there. Like me for production, it would be me, Mike, Will. It would be this other uh, other producer. We'd be at Zach's. Gucci would pull up in his. You know, he'd have the the Bart Simpson chain and mm -hmm. some yeah, car, I remember that. some red yeah. old school car, and we would be Big like, man, listen to our beats, listen to our beats, and uh, you know, we would get in there like that. Um, shot it low. I mean, I got a lot of respect. Actually, I really got a lot of respect when I did label it gutter for Alley Boy. Mm. You know, because they were running the city. You know what I'm saying? And um, Big Bang Black and all them and Duct Tape A and T. That's how I got my respect from other people because they looked up to them and. You know, they knew them, and then and Maceo and Quick Flip, I was part of that, too. You remember Hosted Down and all that? Bro, I'm not from Atlanta, so you oh, teaching not? me? No, nah, yeah, I'm from yeah, Baltimore. Well, you you, you look at Atlanta <laughs> classics. Mm. Like, the Hosted Down, Nextel Chirp. Like, you know, we was on tour with Jeezy. You know, it was, it was crazy. So, but I got my respect like that, and then shot it low. Definitely. R.I.P. to my brother. Is that when it, like, kind of exploded, pause, yeah, for lack of better words? Sure. And people were like, everybody knew who you were? That's how probably Doug know who I am, for real. Or mm. probably through Maceo as well, the Maceo days as well. Damn. You know, I mean. Those, in the artist days, I mean, yeah, we were in high classics. school doing open mics. Like. Yeah, we did so, the open mics. Are y'all brothers or? Yeah, yeah, real brothers. Yep. Yeah. So, Blood brothers, for sure. Real brothers. Did y'all like start, did somebody start first or y'all always started together? No, we started together. We, we started together, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was like five of us in this apartment. So he started production first. Yeah, I started production first. Mm. Yeah. So wait, so what? how did it go from five to two? Man, this game is uh. Nah, don't tough. give me no, nah, nah, nah. Don't you give know. me no bullshit. I'm Keep not giving real. no bullshit now. Give real. This game is tough, man, and, and only the strong survive. Mm. And you know, I'm, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know when you saying? start with a group and people don't have the work ethic that yeah, you man. have, yeah, you know, and the passion you, and the drive. It takes a lot. Just of me and my brother had the more passion than mm -hmm. the rest. But and people go separate ways, you know. But being yeah. brothers, though, right? So like. I'm pretty sure y'all always didn't see eye to eye, right? Like, like for example, like Migos, of course, like they broke up, like they still was family for sure, right? right? right. But at the end of the day, they couldn't see eye to eye, and they they wasn't able to get whatever needed to get done. Right. How so we saw eye to eye. But how was y'all yeah. able to continue to see eye to eye? And I know it had been fights some oh, days. Of course, if yeah, you don't fight, sure. it ain't right. You feel me? Yeah. How was y'all able to stick together as, as blood family? I know y'all had to get on each other's nerves. It's, we still get on each other's nerves. <laughs> nah, we're like yin and, we're that's like yin and yang, but we yeah. look at it as we like balance each other. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. So like, what True he doesn't story. got, I got. Yeah. What I don't got, he's got. And our system in the studio is just crazy. Yeah, it works. It's just perfect. It's very cohesive. Mm. You know? So y'all about to uh, are y'all about to drop something else right now, or y'all already got something else that's going on? Yeah, we're dropping on the fifteenth or the sixteenth. Big surprise next week. Yeah, big surprise. Next I mean, y'all can say it because we probably don't come out. Yeah. Are dropping this new genre, and we are the only one in the, in the world with this genre. It's called emo rage. What is that? So it's I don't really I can't explain it right now, but I would explain what it makes you feel like. How it make you feel? So emotional. So you're in your emotions, right? Mm -hmm. So you're either sad, you're happy. You're angry, mm -hmm. you're confused, whatever emotion you have, right? Right. And then you rage about it. You feel? That don't sound safe, though. Because <laughs> when you're in your feelings and you, it might you not act be. out for emotion, Good one. you go to jail. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's what it sounds right. like. You're right, you're right. No, but it's But a it's lot of great. us feel like that, though. Yes. So, like, yeah, beautiful sure. melodies mm -hmm. with angry rage. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? You know what reminds me of? It's funny because you said, like, a, a, a new genre. Remember... Some people would, would uh, credit Tory Lanez for this, but remember at first one, at, at a point, what was the what was the genre that came out? Like it was like a trap, trap soul, trap soul type soul. of vibe. Remember when that first hit the scene? Mm -hmm. It it was Bryson Tiller. I just yeah, remember, I think it was Tory Lanez had yeah. an album like that, right? Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, yeah. I and remember at one point of the time project exactly. Yeah, they was after pushing quarantine, that. yeah, you yeah. Think, that was great too. Looking back, right, five ten years from now, emo rage. Is that, but you don't get the credit for it. Oof. How does that feel? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. We'll do it again. Mm. We will die and God's come back to life. For Shosky. No, nah, it's crazy because I was we were talking about like as content creators, like how people like uh post repost your content but don't tag you. Mm. And like at first, when I first started, uh when I when it first was happening to me, I used to get upset. Like, bro, I'm trying to get my followers, like I want my tag. Right. Me. But as I got older or as I got more seasoned to the game, I started to look at it differently and understand that, well, 
this is really confirmation that what I got going on is good. Yeah. Right. Respect, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's clearly so good that they're going to take it and use it for their platform because they know that the audience like this message, whatever the message yep. is. Very true. Yep. So I true. feel like that's something. Y'all, y'all been in the game as long as y'all been in the game. What are some of the things that you learned over time that you probably didn't look at the same when you first started? Being humble. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what does that mean, though? Because that can look like so many different... It really can. It can. You have to figure it out for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, how you're going to do it, how you move. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Everybody has a different way they move. But um, I've you learned need to a lot stop of watching stuff. others and, you know, yeah. have yeah, your own lane. And, and when that, people take shit from you, because a lot of people, I'm not going to say no names, a lot of people have took my style over the years. A lot I mean, of I big name it, though. Rappers. I can believe it, though. Bro. I, You're I a fly young guy. The, I started the dangly earrings thing. You know, I people see, used to bro. Y'all be coming on here and saying There's a lot of shit. things he started. <laughs> bro, <laughs> come <laughs> on, bro. That's worldwide. So you tell me uh, but we ain't here the to guy and motherfucker. I'm just talking about Atlanta and the rap game. The rap game. I used to get made fun of for wearing shit like that. Mm. You know? Mm. But it's it's fine. It's okay. And, and you know who taught me to look at that and be like, man, they, you know, you should um, look at that as a positive. Thug taught me that. Mm. He told me, look at that as a positive because you can always do it again. And they look up to you. For them to take that from you, they look up to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that was just, that taught how, me a lot. How close are y'all or were y'all to, to Thug? Thug, we're pretty close. He's like, he's a good friend, man. We'd, that's, we'd pull that's, up that's to the studio all the time and yeah. go to shows. And mm -hmm. we were there when Gunna first popped off. And he's like giving him the pep talk about Coachella. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember that. He's like, yeah, you're going to be doing these Coachellas. Mm -hmm. like, so how important or how, like, how um, beneficial was that relationship between y'all two? Oh, it's it's amazing, man. Doug is he's a good guy. Mm. He's a chosen one for sure. It's Which, really beneficial just seeing him work in the studio is insane. Yeah. Stand there though, right? Like we know what's going on with the court case and things like that. For mm -hmm. the people, for the people that might not That's stupid. I was gonna say for the people that might not know Doug, but everybody knows who Thug is, right? But for the DA and for everybody that's trying to paint this picture or this narrative of who he is, right? Y'all knowing him personally. How ex you tell me how how, how who he was to y'all and what you've seen him to be outside of what the courts is trying to paint him to be. Man, Thug is a role model, a leader. Pure. You know, pure. Just you know? looks out for yeah. his family. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's crazy. See it, you soon, brother. See you soon. Nah, for sure. <laughs> you had the uh, Free Thug shirt, right? I did. I, that was uh, the first thing I started, yeah. With, Chaotic just wore that. Yep. Yo, yeah, so like, BT uh, Free Jeffrey, yeah. Bro, it's, it's funny. Wait, 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 wait. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I want to get back to the clothing line. Because I, I wore it and I didn't know yeah, that this is y'all, yeah, right? Yeah. I didn't know this is you. So you've been doing this since August, yeah. right? You haven't done no collabs or nothing? Not yet, no. So this is what I want to ask you. Because it's kind of like, I, when I think of that, I think of like Nike. It's the first thing that comes to my mind, right? Yeah. Nike really don't do collabs because they don't have to. Right. Right? Like I worked at a, a, a shoe store and I, had, I sat in the board meetings and stuff like that. And like all the companies, when they trying to do, act, we call it activations, when they want to like get people to buy their stuff, they right. like do an event. They give out some free shoes. You might see Fila do it. You might see Fubu do it. You might see New, New Balance and stuff like that. Yeah. Nike does not do it because they don't need not. to do it. They don't need to. Yeah. Yeah. So you, I feel like it's, it's kind of similar. Like you got your stuff in the stores. We already buying this shit, right? Mm -hmm. So what makes you want to do the collabs now when people are already buying it? It's like you don't technically have to do it. I mean, just to, to come up with new ideas, different stuff, you know? Mm. It'd just be cool like to do that. It's like collabing in the studio. You know, it's just something new yeah. for me. Mm. This is a new adventure for me. So when you, you say know? collab, like collab with an artist and like kind of like do split profits or like just yeah, giving somebody split everything. Quote? So when you say collab, you mean with an artist or with another brand? I'm thinking when I'm saying collab, I'm saying like giving it to people to wear to promote your brand. I'm thinking oh, you don't have to do that no more. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking you don't even have to do that. Uh, mm, not really. I, you know what? I've, I've always learned this. When you give it to somebody, it goes in the give it free pile. When you charge them, they going to wear that. Right? So that's, I charge everybody. I don't care if it's Gunna, I don't care if it's Gucci, I'm charging everybody. That's smart. Because they're going to wear it. Mm. It's just going to go on their free yeah. shit. I ain't doing that. You know? Even if it's fly, though? Even if it's fly, it just goes I don't know. Free some fly they don't for listen, free and I ain't throwing it in a free pile. We don't, we don't appreciate it as much when we don't buy it. That's true. But like it's I like I, a subconscious thing. But I didn't got some fly shit for the free. And it ain't going to free power for sure. It went in the designer <laughs> power. Like, well, you're one of the percentage then. It? <laughs> yeah, it's real. like, you can throw that over here. I'm aware. It's no, for same. sure. Me too. I'm the same way. I like to support and I like to, if it's fly, I'm aware. And I put it together. You know mm. how you put it together. So, so yeah, yo, you said you're coming out with the new, the new genre of music, emo rage. Yes. Right? So 
before we get there, what type of music would you guys say you make for the people that just get introduced to you? I would say it's like, man, it's a It's mixture. like pop, yeah. pop, hop, pop, pop hip-hop. Hop, yeah, pop and hip-hop mix. It's all like worldwide type. I yeah. rap and he yeah. sings, so it's yeah. and you the very rapper. eclectic. And yeah. you the si- yeah. Oh, yeah. y'all got it. Too. I thought you would be the singer, if anything, <laughs> yeah. and you would probably be the rapper. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yep. who, was, who are some of the people like that that's you influenced by, I guess? Rap-wise? Yeah. Lil Wayne. Definitely Lil Wayne. Um, Jay-Z. All the all them cash money, yeah, everything you, in the South. You, I'm I'm gonna be judgmental <laughs> right now. You give me That's all right. the, the the white kid that drive around the corner the car that buy all the music. Remember like we was young, like in, in my culture, we always talk about this. It's like everybody that's black got some shit to say about the rappers, but they right, don't really right, support right. the music. Yeah. It be the white guys that really be <laughs> buying the music and supporting the artists. So when you say Lil Wayne, Jay Z, I'm like Lil Wayne for sure. I can He's see like that. my number one. Yeah. So yeah. would you say you rap like Lil Wayne? Uh metaphors like Lil Wayne. I, I don't sound like Lil Give me Wayne. a metaphor. Yeah. I don't believe you. Metaphors. I like can't hear. Give me a metaphor right now. <laughs> I put that work in, but these ain't dungarees. That might have went over my head. Okay, yeah. I guess. Dungarees got to be like some work, some work Lee type. dungarees, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I don't know. See, you guys. Yeah, hey, good <laughs> shit, bro. Give me some You feel me? Good shit. Good shit. Saying some shit now, Yo, y'all sure. was working with, um, I think, uh, one of the songs I listened to, y'all did, uh, was it Trench Work? Yeah, Nard and B. Nard and yeah, B. Nard Nard and B. Mess. Drunk Mess. Yeah, bro. With the, so, the, yeah. Bro, I'm getting, listen, I'm getting acquainted with this Atlanta shit, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I feel like they were like real big at one time in Atlanta, right? I mean, they still are. They're amazing. They're cool kids, man. I mean, yeah. they've been doing it for a minute, you know? Mm. Yeah, they're very talented. Their production is through the roof. Y'all still working with them or? Yeah, yeah. Here we, we, got a few, we got a few new songs with them. Yeah. They got like a label now or something, right? I seen. Uh, yeah, Trench Work. Yeah, my guy, Mozzie. Uh, and I think even, um, I think I seen. Sadie Hendrix over there working over there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Got a bit, like yeah. a big studio in Atlanta, right? Yeah. So like, are y'all doing like real? Are you talking about Jen now? Nah, not Jen. Nah. So Sadie was Seti. with Jen. Jen oh, okay, now. okay, okay. But that I think um, they probably like just part of their ways, whatever. So, but I, I seen you, him. Okay. I don't know if he signed. I don't know. We know Trench know. work from back in the day working with uh, yeah. Grand Hustle. We used to be with yeah, Grand we Hustle used to be back with, in the day. Yeah. Wait, it was wait, three wait. of us. We went through like four groups. When Ti was in his like. Big breakthrough yeah, with did, Rihanna. Like, so, wait, wait, Put so, it this way. We were in the studio when Tip, when Jason Jeter, no, it was the a and and I was next to Jason Jeter, Tip's back and forth on the phone, and they're playing records for Tip from Justice League, from uh, Just Blaze, and they played them. My Yahi, my Rihanna, ha. live your life. I said, Jay, I said, if you don't take this, let us get this song. <laughs> this song's a f- smash. And then if Rihanna wasn't on it at first. It was a whole nother girl on it. And then they, he did that record. That's so wait, I just must have been on the rock or something, cause I like I'm from Baltimore again, right? So of course I heard of Ti, I heard of like Thug, I heard of right. everybody y'all mentioned, but y'all, right? For sure. So I guess what happened from y'all being next to the A list celebrities and me hearing all of them, but ex- but not hearing y'all. It what, just wasn't so, time. Yeah, it wasn't time. It wasn't mm. time. Timing we, is everything in God's book. Yeah. Mm. It wasn't time. We were. In our party stage, we were like, young. we had the studio as much as Ti, but we were just filling it up with you know yep. cheerleaders, par- party, and just making party. Right. Shit and yeah, it was crazy. Getting in trouble. <laughs> so seeing those guys pop off, right, and knowing that she was right next to him, right, and we always think about like hoop mm-hmm. dreams and woulda, coulda, shoulda, right. When y'all see that happen, like, how does that make y'all feel during that time? Of course, now you could say it wasn't time, but during those moments, seeing them progress, did you ever like? Was y'all ever get frustrated with yourselves? Not really. We were so caught up in partying and having a good time. We were young. Yeah, during yeah, the yeah. time it was clouded, you know. It was yeah. like, we were just, we just, we didn't think. We're doing what we but, love and we had a studio to do it, you know. Mm. But so as I'm time went by, you start to, you know, you're like, damn. Yeah. But we still put the work in and just, just keep, you know, keep at it. How, how long has it been since y'all dropped something? Uh, yeah. we, we, dropped we just something dropped something last weeks. month. Yeah, last month. Can't you was tell, two, right? three weeks ago? Yeah, three weeks ago, Can't, can't You Tell. tell. It's called mm. Can't You Tell. Yep. Mm. Was it just y'all, like, features on there? No, no features. Just us. Yeah, just us. Our first feature in a while is coming next... Uh, uh, yeah, we're shooting that. Next this, month. Uh, next we, week. we all got... I mean, because... We got... Bear uh, One Boss. Bear One Boss. See, I'm still... I'm getting new, yeah, bro. I'm hot getting... sauce. Yeah, he's, he's dope. Yeah. He's dope, dope. He works hard. He's dope, amazing dope kid. kid. See, nah, yeah. this is hard, bro. I, I appreciate y'all for pulling up, man. Like, what can what else can we look forward to? Really, yeah, emo man, rage, we, go, man. we got a emo rage. We got a, we gonna do some singles. We got an album coming out. Yep. Like, 
New True Story merch is coming. We're going to be hitting hard. Are y'all partnering on that, or is that just your thing? This is mine, yep. Yeah, that's him. Okay. But okay. we got the Cooley Bros merch as well. Mm. For sure. Cool. Well, are you created directly your own merch? Uh, I have a mentor. He's been helping me. Coca's been helping me a lot. Shout out Coca Van Shout out Coca Van Gogh. For sure. That's he doesn't want me to say it, but I don't give a fuck. I don't, I'm going to keep it real. Everybody hit him up. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> that's hard, bro. That's cr- that's 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 dope. Like, but, I mean, I can see the now that you said, I could kind of see the resemblance. But it's like it's both fire. Like, I I wish people understood that. Like, you can everybody like in this game is so cut though. Like, everybody want to like. I feel like what happened is like is I, I compare it to um the highway. Right. Right. It's it's more money in this world than it is people. Right. right? And yeah. if you stay in your lane, you can make the most money ever. But what happened is people try to cross over in other people's lanes, and the moment you try to cross in somebody else's lane. That's when accidents happen, mm-hmm. right? So like, you can have a you can have a merchant. He can be your your mentor, and y'all still can make millions right. of dollars. Like yeah. I just feel and like, have two different merchants. Exactly. Yeah. I just feel like I don't know, bro. Niggas are weird. I don't know. I don't know. Even when music comes, nah, he's solid, yeah. man. He's been helping me a lot with this shit. No, nah, fact. So. What y'all think the weirdest shit in the game has been from experience? Y'all think weirdest shit? The weirdest? Yeah. Weirdest. Mm, that's a good question. Weird as shit. I'm mean, we just politicking now. I'm just curious. I'm just picking y'all brain. I'm getting weird. no yard. There's so much weird. Nothing comes. So much weirdos. What was the weird, what was the we always hear the industry bunch of weirdos, yeah. niggas is lame, niggas is fake. I'm trying to think of just you know, I mean it's maybe y'all got a good just say that. It's fun, bro. If y'all I mean, it's <laughs> no, no, it's not it's not always good. You know, you it's gotta not always good. Nah, people be it's, it'd be like people like in the entourage like Last week, we got invited oh, okay, by, yeah. personally by an artist. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say no names. That's fine. Personally by an artist, right? In my day, he's like, come pull up Friday. Yeah, I got you. Boom, boom. And it was an artist. We get there. We hear the, his entourage. Like, yeah, they don't let them in. They too much. Or like something. I don't forgot what they said. It's, we it's, show up, steal yeah, the like, show. You know, look, they, you yeah. know. We come in with our costume, so I kind of get it. They walk hate. in like a movie. Yeah, walk in like a movie. And they like just. Superstar. Hate. And they just hate and then and we just you know, leave and do something else. Yeah, we just say, man, just tell them we came through and yeah, you know, because just our love. just the days leading up to it, we were in the studio like yeah. all day with them and so yeah, it's like, yeah it's crazy. I, I'm curious. I I wouldn't I wouldn't be me if I didn't ask. Like on my podcast, like we have like these vulnerable moments and like serious conversations, and I'm curious. It just popped in my mind. It, sitting across from like uh, you guys are both of you guys are white, yeah. right? Sitting across from two white guys, I. I would be remiss if I didn't ask this question. Like, in the in my culture, in my community, we always talk about how, like, you know, white people, they had it good and we always struggle, right? And I'm 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 talking to two white rappers, and I feel like it's kinda I feel like you guys will be in the opposite now. Because I feel like rap is dominated by black people, black, black folks, right? Right. Do you guys feel the not tension, but like I guess a distance sometimes when it comes to making music because of the color of your skin. Hell no, we don't see no, no. color. Mm. Nah, G, you might see no not color see color, color but we man. see. I not see color. All. You look white to me. It's it. I see color. So I'm assuming other people see color. So I would assume that people, some people, would treat you differently. Nah. Shit, we treat Eminem differently now. Well, yeah. So maybe. y'all not about to sit up here and maybe, talk no bullshit. Maybe some like, people, come on, listen. man. Like I'm kind of talk some real. And here's shit. a blessing, right? That God gave me and him too. We Atlanta adopted us like they own. Mm. They took us in and loved us like anybody else from Atlanta. So that's like the blessing. You know mm. what I'm saying? We come from best of both worlds. My dad's side has got money, and then my mom's side, she don't. Mm. So we know what it's like to have money and know what it's like to not have money. Mm. You see what I'm saying? We have the best of both worlds. Mm. And so, and so y'all never see, felt like y'all was treated like. Never, ever. But as an outsider. I mean, you got some people, man. You got some people like, you know, the Talking security guards. Them. You got the security guards, you know, like some people, they, you know, they like to pick and do stuff like that and try you, but then you get in or whatever. Or sometimes you don't. It is. That's well, we don't know game. if that's like off a race thing. It might yeah, just be it, could, it could just be something else. We don't but know. But people don't, I mean, people aren't ex susceptible to things that look different. That's just the world. When yeah. things look different, no, right. yeah. we shun it away. Yeah, so I was curious, sure. do y'all get some like kind of, I don't know, like some backlash from that? Just I looking mean, different. I mean, maybe in the not beginning. Really. I don't know. Mm. Mm-hmm. I mean, if not, I'm just, I don't think we so. We did at this event. Mm. <laughs> at that, the, yeah. yeah. That event, yeah. <laughs> we did. I don't think it's because we were white. When we <laughs> when we were like doing open mics in high school and stuff, like we might have got treated differently, but it's just, 
it wasn't like noticeable, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like we would keep we would keep uh keep our momentum. Mm-hmm. Nah, I was just curious. I wanted to know because like you can we ask always us whatever you want. Nah, I'm gonna ask you whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not scared of you. I only say that because like it's, we always just again. I'm from Baltimore, right? And a lot of my audience and a lot of my friends, we only see like we only see in a, a, a certain mile radius, right? Mm-hmm. And in our little bubble, mm-hmm. so we can't see outside the bubble. So the moment I when I have a chance to talk to somebody that's like outside of that bubble, I'm trying to get as much as insight as possible, right? So like. For me and my people, right? Like, we only know what we struggle with and the struggles right. that we see. But I'm curious about the struggles that y'all see, right? That we might not even see. And I can teach. And sometimes you can, you can learn so much about yourself through somebody else. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? That's no, what I was absolutely. asking about yeah, yeah. that. Like, even, like, just going out the country, like, traveling. I feel like those things open your eyes. Like, you come from these projects and, and these these rural cities, especially me, right? And my friends, we like we think we got it so bad until you go to Africa or some shit. Right? right? And then you be like, Damn. I don't yeah. have it as bad, right? right. Not saying uh-huh. that you guys struggle is worse than anybody else, but I was just curious to hear from you guys about the struggles that you might see in the hip hop community. Yeah, but I mean, y'all got it good. We you don't have too many struggles, yeah. just haters. Yeah, just haters. That's it. Nothing like just like us all. Yeah, yeah just like. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, y'all Keep niggas too modest for me, man. <laughs> I appreciate it, bro. For real, man. I, um, I wish you guys nothing but success. Thank, Thank you. Bro. Um. For the people that don't know, let us know how to follow you and everything and what you got going on again and how we can Yeah, Cooley you. Bros, Instagram, Cooley Bros, TikTok, Cooley Bros 100. Make sure it's Cooley with a K. Um, Spotify, YouTube. We just dropped three new songs on YouTube. Videos, live, uh, Can't You Tell, Money and Sex. Mm. Got a whole new genre coming out, Emo Rage. Y'all be on the lookout for that. True story. Y'all made it. Yeah. Y'all better patent that right now. Like, yeah. y'all got to like- Emo Rage. Emo Rage. Y'all you gotta, hear it first gotta, on his podcast. Yeah, y'all sure. got to like, that's, you know- That's crazy. On your, You're the first that has heard about it. I appreciate it, man. It's, dope, a lot, man. it's a lot. It's a lot that happened in this podcast. I'm- um, Hey, we don't let the devil stop us. We don't, bro. But we spreading love, we spreading God. We spreading love and spreading God. It's emo rage, but it's not like demonic. You know what I mean? Nah, nah. I like that. I like, I like, I like your energy, man. For real, man. That's that's the type shit I be on. And I want people to know. That's why I did it because I was like, man, I want my 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 guy even offered me to get a light. You know what I'm saying? But like, I I want people to see this shit. You feel me? Everybody like they think just because a nigga got some motion, don't shit go wrong. You feel me? But like. We human just like y'all. No, for me? sure. Mm-hmm. I appreciate y'all yeah. pulling up for real, man. Thank, Thank you, man. Thank Thank you, already, bro. man. Yes, sir. Ski. And then you check you, the clothes out at True Story. T R U three. Cool. Story with an I. If you True don't story. know, if you don't know, I had it on. It was the uh the sleeveless joint with the uh like a, like an angel or the something. Mother like Mary, uh, yeah, the Mother Mary uh collection. Yeah. It was too mm-hmm. hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't and I bro, Thank I don't, you. he ain't give me this shit for free, so I ain't you was saying like I'm just <laughs> this ain't no damn commercial. This True story. This shit is really hard, man. Uh J Hill, J Hill Podcast. It's a wrap. We out.